In this year's condensed 72-game NBA schedule, with few off days, teams can use blowout wins for a variety of reasons, and the Sixers benefited from their first in Thursday's 116-92 victory in Orlando. This game was not as close as the final score indicated. The Sixers led by as many as 38 points, and had a 35-point lead at halftime. The starters didn't play in the fourth quarter. The schedule is brutal this season in terms of days off. The NBA released only the first half of the schedule. The Sixers will play their first 37 games by March 3. Against Orlando, every Sixer played fewer than 27 minutes, and 14 saw action. It's nice whenever you can get one of those, coach Doc Rivers said about a blowout. That is old school load management. That is how we load managed in our day. Our coach would tell us, you get a big lead, you can sit down. Rivers played 13 seasons in the NBA, with his final season in 1995-96. As the Sixers move through an important offseason, we'll give you the news and analysis to catch you up on what's going on every week. What led to the blowout was the Sixers' three-point shooting. They led, 75-40, at halftime and shot 10 for 17 from three-point range, 58.8%. That included the first three-pointer of the season from Ben Simmons and only the third of his career. He is three for 25 lifetime. It helps, man, when they go in, Rivers said about his team's three-point accuracy. It's funny. We have had those shots in most of the games and haven't made them. The Sixers ended the game shooting 15 for 33, 45.5%, from beyond the arc, but the main damage was done in the first half. For the game, eight players hit a three, including reserve center Dwight Howard, now in his 17th season. It was just the 10th career three-pointer for Howard, although he was three for five last year with the Los Angeles Lakers. Still, it was one of those nights when the three-pointer was a major weapon. We have good shooters out there, and even when we are missing shots, you should get respect where you have to be guarded out there, said Seth Curry, who was five for seven from beyond the arc. Curry said besides making baskets, when a team is shooting so well from three, it opens the court up for other opportunities. You make those shots, and it gives everybody confidence where we can work right out there at the line, I can drive the ball. Ben can drive the ball. Joel Embiid can get more one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Tobias Harris can get more one-on-one -on -one coverage, Curry said. So we are going to have nights when we shoot the ball the way we did, and it's going to be really good. And it's good to get a few minutes off. This was the first blowout win for the Sixers, 4-1. They did beat the New York Knicks on Saturday, 109-89, but the Sixers led by just 60-55 at halftime. The Sixers' lone loss, 118-94, at Cleveland on Sunday, was also one in which the minutes were kept down. But teams obviously cherish the time off only in a win.